duo fish. At this very moment, many of you are currently sitting on a chair or toilet watching this video, and yet may have never asked yourself, when did humans first sit in chairs or use toilets? All around us are objects that we certainly take for granted because we've had them our entire lives. But how often do we ask, who did it first? Or what did the first example of a certain object look like? Number 15. The Oldest Toothbrush Alright, if you've already watched our video about deadly epidemics, you should know that humans were horrible when it came to hygiene for thousands of years. Yet, apparently bad breath and cavities were enough of a motivator for people even before recorded history to try cleaning their teeth. Chew sticks and even bird feathers were some of the first items used to at least try cleaning teeth by ancient humans. But, the earliest example of what we could see as a toothbrush today came from ancient China and used hog bristles. Yeah, that's gross. Finishing a meal after finding a hair in it is hard enough, but apparently toothbrushes using animal hairs were all the rage from 800 AD up to 1938. Just be happy with the toothbrushes we have today and try not to imagine it as dozens of stiff animal hairs in your mouth. Number 14. The Oldest Pillow Every night, the vast majority of us lay our heads down onto a sealed sack of fabric filled with something to act as a cushion, like cotton, feathers, or those cool microbead things. But what did someone thousands of years ago lay their head onto at night? You know, before it was really easy to manufacture fabric in microbeads. Well, old pillows kind of looked like this and were first used around 7000 BC. As you can see, Early humans weren't really worried about a comfortable place to lay their heads and actually used early pillows just to keep insects from crawling on their face when sleeping. Ancient China took it a step further and believed that soft pillows sapped your strength while sleeping. Ancient pillow fights must have been intense. As for the first soft pillows, they were used by ancient Greeks and were stuffed with reed or feathers, clearly the more sensible choice. Number 13. The Oldest Shoes. A lot of people in today's world possess shoes that they can just slip on and use without a thought. Well, unless you care about wearing fashionable shoes. But hundreds of years ago, before the mass production of Nike footwear by children in countless sweatshops dotted around third world countries was possible, people had to resort to a more primitive manner of protecting their feet. The oldest pair of footwear was discovered in 1938 under a pile of ash located in Fort Rock Cave, Oregon. These sandals were dated to be around 10,000 years old and were made up of woven sagebrush. The oldest shoe that actually covered the entire foot was found in 2008 during an excavation of a cave in Armenia. This shoe was dated to be around 5,500 years old and was made up of a single piece of leather and even came with laces. Number 12. The Oldest Nail Clippers. I've always wondered how humans went from biting their nails to using a clipper that uses leverage and sharp edges to cut through the keratin that makes up the nails. Besides the fact that frequent manual labor usually keeps fingernails rather short, theories about what could have been used by ancient humans to trim nails include things such as sharp pieces of flint or metal to shave a nail off from one side to the other, and rough surfaces such as rocks to grind them down, similar to how nail files work. As for tools actually produced specifically for nail removal, Egyptians, Romans, and Vikings seem to be ahead of the curve, with metal shaving tools created by Romans and actual nail scissors used by Vikings. Fun fact! Vikings may have been more inclined to cut their nails due to fear of Nagolfar, a ship made from the nails of the dead that would carry beings such as Loki from the Eastern Sea during Ragnarok. Ew. Number 11. The Oldest Sculptures. One thing we frequently relate to ancient peoples is the statues and figurines that they produced even before the agricultural revolution. We may not ever know who the very first to produce art in the form of a statue was, so we'll just have to look at what's been dated thus far. The two oldest forms of figurative art are both carved from mammoth tusks, with one depicting a lion man, and the other portraying a very, uh, curvy woman. The small figurine of a woman is known as Venus of Hohlefels and is dated to be around 35 to 40,000 years old after its discovery in Hohlefels in Germany. The Lion Man figurine is dated to be around 40,000 years old and was found in Hollenstein Stadel, another cave in Germany. Number 10 
the oldest toilet. We all know that it's possible to lay waste anywhere simply by squatting and letting loose, so obviously that's what ancient humans had to do. But when did humans become civilized enough to actually produce the first flush toilets? Incredibly, the Harappan civilization had the best hydraulic engineers in the world from 2600 to 1900 BC and produced the world's oldest flush toilets and great baths in cities located in modern-day eastern Pakistan and northwestern India. The cities of Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, and Lothal are all examples of incredible feats of engineering with vast networks of drainage systems and cesspools located underneath homes and streets all created using nothing but sun or fire-dried bricks. The toilets themselves, of course, look like simple holes in the floor, but all waste were carried away by water, similar to sewers today. Number 9 The Oldest Currency Before currency in the form of money existed, humans relied on trade and barter for thousands of years. Today, the average person uses currency as a means for buying and selling various items. But when did we switch from trading chickens for barley to buying wolf urine on Amazon with electronic money? The earliest coin ever found is an ancient Greek drum made of a silver gold alloy called electrum dated to be minted around 700 BC. However, it is believed that Lydians were the first to begin minting coins around the same time on the coast of what is now present-day Turkey. Their concept of coins was incredibly popular and spread quickly throughout antiquity and after years of evolving brought us to the money we use today. No, but seriously, you can buy wolf urine without even handing someone physical money. What a time to be alive. Number 8 The Oldest Socks You'd think that with the advent of the shoe, someone would come along and produce something to keep feet warm at the same time. But in actuality, it would take thousands of years more for someone to create the sock. Worse still, the oldest pair of socks that we know of were designed to be worn with sandals. These socks were made sometime between the 3rd and 5th century AD in Egypt using a time-consuming knitting method. Actually, if you think about it, socks do wear out rather quickly and used to take forever to make, so I suppose it makes sense that they were a symbol of royalty around the year 1000 AD. It wasn't until the 16th century that socks were finally mass-produced, meaning that most humans dealt with cold feet until just 500 years ago. Number 7 the Oldest Board Game In today's world of lightning-fast entertainment delivered through the wonder of the internet, the popularity of board games has fallen far. But imagine if you were an early human with literally nothing to do besides work outside, talk with friends, go to sleep, and repeat. It was either apply yourself and learn more about some form of art than those around you, or find a good way to waste your time. Well, someone especially good at finding ways to waste time eventually invented the first board game around 3100 BC in ancient Egypt, known as Senet. It was so good at wasting time that it was even known as the Game of Passing. Unfortunately, the rules to the game have been lost to history. But eventually, other cultures around the world created their own board games too, thus proving that boredom is a common human trait. Number 6 the Oldest Pen We know today that people carved images into rocks and painted on caves before languages were even known. But after language was created, the old way of carving things into rock wasn't exactly an efficient way to produce fanfiction. But eventually, someone was smart or accident-prone enough to create papyrus and paper. So how did actual writing begin? The oldest known pens were actually made of reed and worked by channeling an ink made of carbon, gum, and water down the cut tip of a reed. Reed pens are thought to have been created around 3000 BC in ancient Egypt and were used to record language to parchment. Eventually quills from geese and other large birds replaced reed pens. But still, once again, we have Egyptians to thank for another invention. Number 5 The Oldest Sunglasses Surely the first sunglasses ever created were more over a luxury item, right? It's not as if staring at the sun was an important function people of antiquity needed, so whoever created the first pair of sunglasses probably didn't need them. Well, the actual answer is kind of weird. The first pair of sunglasses wasn't created to avoid blindness when looking directly at the sun, but instead the snow. 
If you were an Inuit and walked in snow during sunny spring days, you were likely to have your corneas damaged by all of the sunlight bouncing off the snow and into your eyes. We don't really know when the first pair of sunglasses were used, but an 800-year-old pair of Inuit snow glasses are the oldest currently known to exist. So be sure to pack your sunglasses if you're going somewhere snowy, I guess. Number 4 The Oldest Chewing Gum Mastication has been a human pastime for a very long time now, though since Victorian times it has been seen in a negative light and being caught doing so while in a classroom may get you into quite a lot of trouble. If you happen to have misheard me, I was of course talking about chewing, more specifically the act of masticating gum. The oldest piece of gum to date was found in Sweden and was dated to be 9,000 years old. This gum was moreover a sweet piece of wood that was chewed until it became a gum-like consistency, but it serves as a reminder that mastication is a healthy part of being human and is nothing to be ashamed of. Number 3 The Oldest Pair of Pants Pants, as we know them today, are actually rather new in the whole of human history. Humans of the past would wear things fashioned out of leather and furs, so garments like pants which require sewing to produce weren't a ubiquitous item for a very long time. Ever wonder why we call them a pair of pants? Well, pantaloons were designed to cover up one leg at a time, sort of like chaps. The crotch piece was something worn underneath the pair of pants. But as it turns out, 3,300 years ago in mainland China, the oldest trousers with a crotch were created for the sole purpose of riding horses. That's right, pants have their invention rooted in horse riding nomads, much like high heels. It's kind of scary to imagine where we'd be without animals around, huh? Number 2 The Oldest Paper Before we talk about where and when paper was invented, just think about how weird of a creation it actually is. Paper is a material made up of plant fiber that was ground into a pulp, soaked in water, and then pressed into thin sheets and dried. Egyptians had papyrus they made by just cutting the sticky inside of a plant into thin slices and gluing them together, but actual paper was an entirely different idea. The first example of what we would call paper was created in 100 BC in China. Apparently, the inspiration for how to create paper was taken from watching wasps chew plant fiber and build their paper-like nests. Ancient paper was created using mulberry and plant waste that were boiled and pulverized into a plant pulp that was then pressed into paper. You know, it sort of feels like most modern inventions are descended from a Chinese or Egyptian invention at this point. Number 1 The Oldest Chair Ah, the chair. Perhaps the greatest invitation to lazily let the day go by while you relax. Honestly, I'm guessing everyone expects the oldest chair to have been created around the same time that humans had the urge to sit. That's at least what I thought when I first wrote this script, but I must admit I was more than a little surprised at how long it took for humans to invent the chair. It is thought that one of the earliest examples of seating was created in the Neolithic period of Scotland in the year 3200 BC. What? Chairs were invented thousands of years after shoes and pillows? And that's just stone seating, not even something I would truly refer to as a chair. We have to look to Egypt again for some sanity as they had stools to sit on dating back to around the same time. But what about the first chair? Well, apparently we're not exactly sure when it was invented, but sometime after 3000 BC actual chairs were made. For royalty, that is. Well, at least the oldest depiction of what I think is a chair with a person sitting in it comes from around 4700 BC. But still, I can't imagine that no one before then hadn't have sat on a stump and put a couple of rocks behind him to lean against before thinking, Whoa, this feels great. Perhaps I could remake this with a few pieces of wood. <sighs> I honestly feel disappointed about this one. Till next video, off Vita's Jane.